Vulcan Army, Testnet Beta has arrived. Or has it? Stay tuned. Never fear, because the Greek is here. Welcome back, Vulcan Army. I'm the Greek DeFi Guru here with another video for you. I'm just your favorite Greek giving you the Vulcan blockchain news you deserve. Never fear because the Greek is here. If you like what I do, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you already know that the Greek is here for you. I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I say is my own opinion. It should be taken for entertainment purposes only. Just your favorite Greek giving you the Vulcan blockchain news. Now, if you'd like to join my channel and join the 38 strong members, hit that join button down below because you already know when you join the Greeks channel, we're all going to make it. Um, also, I have my Discord down below. Join the Discord. We're up to 580 strong members. We're growing. Let's hit 600. Let's get it. And if you want to spread Vulcan news everywhere and wear awesome merch like this, go to the Vulcan merch store and use code YouTube to save 5% off your order. VulcanMerchStore.com. Let's go. All right. Now, today, there was things that happened. The testnet beta has arrived. Here's what you need to know, and there's an article. So we're going to just, we're just going to talk about it. So as the world's first auto re, we are committed to providing, you know, um, so we're just going to go talk about testnet beta right here. Vulcan blockchain is currently in alpha stage. As we continue to strive for excellence, we made the decision to launch our beta testnet on March 1st, 2023, providing us with the ideal opportunity to thoroughly test our network and identify any potential issues or vulnerabilities. During this testing phase, we will be implementing a simple and straightforward KYC process for our full node holders, which is mandatory requirement. Testnet beta will officially run and operate for a minimum period of 30 days. This testing period will allow us to deliver a robust and reliable platform that will exceed your expectations and leave you feeling more confident than ever before. Mainnet will go live after the complete testing phase has been allowed ample time to run its course and for us to be entirely 100% confident that the blockchain is ready without a shadow of a doubt. With security, uh, KYC for node operators, with security remaining at the core epicenter of all our decisions, we will be implementing a mandatory KYC know your customer procedure for all full node validators Light node validators will not be required to complete KYC, although it's highly recommended. This important step is a legal requirement and will help to verify the identity of individuals and businesses that operate nodes on the Vulcan network. The implementation of this process will ensure the security and stability of the network and provide a secure environment for all participants. Our implementation of the KYC procedure for full node operators is a crucial part of this commitment to protect and support you. By implementing KYC, we aim to prevent any potential security breaches or fraudulent activities that could harm our network and its users. The thorough execution of this process cannot be rushed and essentially to the overall security and stability of our network. We will communicate this process with which and which third-party KYC provider services will be used shortly. Now, Firestorm. We are proud to be the first protocol to implement EIP-1559 into a rebasing protocol EIP-1559 is a mechanism that will completely vaporize coins from the fire pit on a quarterly basis to reduce the total supply and ensure the fire pit stays at a minimum of 51%. By integrating this mechanism at a protocol level, vol will remain deflationary and will extend the rebase life of the blockchain. Furthermore, we will be spinning up a mirror testnet to implement the Firestorm EIP-1559 mechanism process in real time. This will allow us to be confident and validate the efficacy of the mechanism in a controlled environment and make any necessary adjustments before mainnet launch. Now the Vulcan faucet. A testnet is a simulated environment that allows development to test and debug their code without affecting the main blockchain network. A public faucet on a testnet acts as a virtual dispenser of test coins, which can be used in the same way as real assets, but have no monetary value. This enables developers to experiment with their applications, test the features and functionality, and make necessary changes before deploying them to mainnet. Thus, a faucet on testnet is crucial for developers. It provides confidence in a safe and cost-effective environment for them to test and refine their blockchain applications. The Vulcan faucet will also allow users to interact between themselves and other holders through on-chain transfers. We believe this additional testing period is necessary to ensure the long-term success of the Vulcan network. Our goal is to provide a secure and reliable platform that offers a seamless experience, and we're confident that the extra time and effort 
Invested in, uh, in testing and security measures will result in stronger, more reliable network for everyone. Well, one key takeaway that I took from this and reliability, safety, reliability, safety, reliability, safety, security. Those are the takeaways I took from this. That has everyone's best interest at heart. So I know people are going to be angry. I got to wait. I need that money. But it's for the good of all of us. So just remember, never fear because the Greek is here and beta test net is near. And, you know, we're all we're all going to be fine. We're going to be OK. And um, yeah, we just got to wait a little longer. And I know I know it sucks. It does suck. But when it all comes to fruition, we're all going to reap the rewards. So please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, join the channel, join the Discord, and you already know we're all going to make it. Never fear, because the Greek is here.